In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at putting together our if, elif, and else statements and uh, practicing a little bit with that and um, creating sort of like a fortune teller uh, type program. So when a user um, puts in, um, you know, uh, that they want their fortune told, um, it displays a random fortune based on a uh, random number which we picked by our program. So I'm going to start off by um, writing out um, five different fortunes, just like this, fortune one, and then I'll write the fortune, and I'll write five of them, and then we're going to cut back uh, in a minute when they're all written, and we will go from there. So I've written out my five fortunes and I'm saving them in five different variables. Um, fortunes one through five. So what we're going to, do to need for this program as well is a module that Python has called random. So I'm going to import random here. Now what random will allow me to do is it'll allow me to create a random number whenever I need to. So let me just show you how it works. N equals random oops, dot rand int. And in the brackets, I put between what numbers it can select from. So it will randomly generate me a number between 0 and 10 in this case. Um, and then if I just print n, now if we just run this, you'll just see the random module working. So it's generated five there, so if we try and run it again, generated four this time. So it generates a random number based on that, and it's that random number which we're going to assign to our fortunes at the top. So um, we will leave that down there for a second, because we may use that. So we're going to start off by welcoming our um, potential uh, fortune seekers, um, just by saying a little print statement here to start. Okay, got a little print statement. So now we can add other bits to this and develop it a little bit later, maybe put an input statement in here and things like that. But we're going to work on the core of this, which is getting Python to randomly assign um, uh, n to one of these fortunes. So n, we'll keep this here now. So n is going to now equal a random integer between 0 and 4 because we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 fortunes. Because um, you have to remember that Python always counts from 0. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to have uh, Python select one of those fortunes using an if statement. So if n is the same as 0, so if it randomly selects 0, I'm going to print fortune 1. So I'm saying here if the random integer selected by Python is the same as 0, print the first fortune, which is this one here. We then need an elif statement, so elif n is the same as 1. I'm going to print my second fortune. I think you'll probably see where we're going with this. Uh, elif n is the same as 2. Print fortune 3. And I'm going to carry on doing this for a second and we'll do a jump cut and you'll see how these um, have all worked out. So I've just finished writing off the elif statement. So at the top of it, I've obviously got my if statement. So if n is the same as zero, print fortune one. My three elifs in the middle. So if they're equal to um, uh, one, two, and three, print fortunes two, three, and four. 
And then at the end here, I have my else statement, uh, which doesn't need any criteria because it's saying for every other number, which is possible, say within n, print fortune five. Well, the only other number left is going to be number four. So if we try and run this now, let's have a look at it. We can see that it's printed my first two lines here, welcome and uh, are you ready to receive it? And then it has printed uh, Fortune 5. So obviously the n random number selected was four. Let's try again, just to make sure it is working. So here we are, now we have a different fortune here. Uh, this time it has printed Fortune number four. So, that is um, how to use the random function and a little bit about um, uh, if elephant else a bit of practice there. If you want to carry on practicing with that, you could try adding some more fortunes and adding some more elif statements in here. Bearing in mind, you need to make sure you add more criteria and change the range of the random integer here. You could also try adding um, a time delay on some of these as well. So what you could do is you could import time and what this will do is it will put a little bit of a stop between everything. So if I did um, time.sleep, and in here, in the brackets, I write down how many seconds, so let's just have it as half a second. And then we make the program sleep again for half a second after this one. When we run it now, what will happen is that instead of it just going one, See, it staggers it one, two, three, like that, instead of the whole thing just coming up at once. So those are a couple of um, imports you can try, a couple of different bits you can try on this, and um, have a little go at making your own fortunes. Okay, well, thanks a lot for watching.